we are going to discuss about two famous scientists namely Pelletier and Kamsu. Oh, let's get started. Shia was professor at AND. From 1832, director of the School of Pharmacy, Paris. In 1817, in collaboration with the chemist Joseph Vainaim Kaventu, he isolated chlorophyll, the green pigment in plants that is essential to the process of photosynthesis. His interests soon to a new class of vegetable bases now called alkaloids, and he isolated emetine. With Kaventu, he continued his search for alkaloids, and in 1820 they discovered brucine, cinchuane, colchicine, quinine, strychnine, and veratrin. Some of these compounds soon found medicinal uses. Such applications mark the beginning of the gradual shift away from the use of crude plant extracts and toward the use of natural and synthetic compounds found in nature or formulated by a chemist. In 1823 Pelletier published analyses of several alkaloids, thus providing a basis for alloy chemistry. He also did important studies of other compounds, including caffeine, piperine, and picrotoxin. And now it's time for Joseph Vainaim Kaventu. French pharmacist known for his research on oh, plant, chemicals and for discoveries in alkaloid chemistry. Kaventu advanced clinical medicine from crude plant extracts to the use of natural and synthetic compounds. The son of a pharmacist, he completed his internship in hospital pharmacy and received an appointment to St. Antoine Hospital. From 1817 to 1820, he and fellow scientist Pierre Joseph Pelletier discovered many natural products, including chlorophyll, the green pigment in plants. They also recognized the nature of morphine, strychnine, and caffeine. Their most dramatic discovery was quinine, a drug derived from the Sikona tree that found use as a treatment for malaria. By age 20, X. Carventu was established as a gifted investigator and, in 1830, became professor of chemistry, a post he held until his retirement in 1859.